really nice and rigid. It's got a bit of weight to it. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the red oak wooden broadsword we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking all about what it's made of, who uses it, why you'd want to train one of these over a metal broadsword, and at the end, I'm going to put together a short montage of people training with the wooden broadsword. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the red oak wooden broadsword we have for sale at Enzo. As the name suggests, this is made out of red oak. So it's a complete carbon copy of a metal Chinese broadsword but obviously made out of wood. So it's made out of red oak which is super super durable, super hard wearing, loads and loads of martial arts weapons, martial arts training weapons are now made out of red oak. All across sort of Korea, Japan, Chinese styles, there's loads made out of red oak. So just looking at the construction of the broadsword, now this is made out of three parts. So you get the handle, you get the guard, and you also get the blade bit all the way down to the tip with the fullers or some people call these blood grooves carved out of the sword. Now, disclaimer, this is not designed for sparring. So people that think this is designed for sparring, I'm really sorry but you're wrong, this is not designed for sparring. So inside this guard here, the handle and the blade kind of slot in together. And they're actually a relatively thin bit of wood that holds them together. So this is designed for solo practice. It's not designed to be hit against stuff. Now, if you accidentally clip it across the floor or you accidentally like drop it, it's not gonna break. It's very, very durable for that, but it is not designed to be smashed against walls or other people's metal weapons or even like the hard plastic weapons or other wooden weapons. It is not designed for that. It is designed for solo practice. So for the majority of people doing Chinese martial arts, this is perfect, because that's what you want. You want to be able to practice forms. You want to be able to practice maybe a little bit of sticky sword, like Tai Chi push hands, but with the sword. Absolutely no problem with this. It's perfectly durable. It can, it can take that, but it can't take being smashed. That's my disclaimer, solo practice only, and maybe a little bit of sticky sword. So why would you want a red oak broadsword? What's the point? What, why not just go straight onto the metal? Well, metal broadswords are actually quite expensive these days. Now, maybe 15 years, 20 years ago, you could get them relatively cheap. There was a bit of an abundance of broadswords, but these days it's much, much harder to get broadswords. There just aren't that many on the market these days. Much harder to get in, and when you do find them, they are expensive. So a broadsword is a really cheap way, well a wooden broadsword is a really cheap way to get you started practicing. So if you've moved on to it in your class, you haven't necessarily got the money to shell out on a metal one, a wooden one is a really good way to get started. Also, in terms of carrying around a weapon, carrying around a metal broadsword, you know, a lot of people don't really want to do that. It's a bit, it's slightly dodgy. So again, a wooden one is much more, inconspicuous it's much more um, sort of acceptable to be able to carry this around and that feeds into sort of training outdoors so if you're going to be training in a park and you want to practice broadsword is not really a good idea you're always going to get some twitchy people that call the police you know even though the broadswords aren't sharp but they look dangerous you've got a big metal like weapon that you're waving around it looks dodgy so you're always just going to get hassle people are always going to say stuff if you've got a broadsword and you want to train outside, the wooden one is a much better option. It's much more obvious that you're practicing Kung Fu rather than just some lunatic waving around a massive sword. So what styles use this? What styles would train with these? Well, any, any style that likes using the traditional old heavy broadswords, the rigid broadswords that are made out of the, the, the hardened steel, battle ready steel, nearly all the styles could benefit from training with a wooden broadsword. Now the styles like the Wushu and the Shaolin, they tend to move on to the wibbly wobbly swords pretty early on, 
because you know they're relatively cheap enough to get and they're still relatively available um, really lightweight this is not really going to be suitable for those guys it's going to be suitable for the more traditional styles the Hungars, the Laogars, the Mountis, the Choyli Foots, the Chowgars all those styles that are using broadswords this is a really good option it's really nice and rigid it's got a bit of weight to it so you, it's a really good practice practice sword for those kung fu styles also don't forget about the tai chi guys because there are a lot of tai chi styles or tai chi instructors that are teaching broadsword now this is perfect for tai chi again because it's easy to carry it around it's relatively inconspicuous you can train anywhere with something like this so we are getting a lot of tai chi guys buying these so just giving you a few dimensions i'll put all the dimensions on the website so if you want to know all the exact dimensions then you can go there and have a look but i'll just give you a few now now a little disclaimer these can vary a little bit they can kind of change in length they don't tend to change in shape but the length can fluctuate a little bit so i will give you the measurements now for the one that i'm holding but if you're really really specific about what measurements you need just check out the website and we'll do our best to keep those measurements up to date so just looking at this one so you can see it's around 32 inches 81 centimeters and then just giving you an idea of the blade length so that comes in around 25 inches 63 centimeters but like i said i'll put all the dimensions up on the website looking at the weight it weighs in at just around 500 grams so it's pretty standard weight and very usable by nearly all people as well as promised at the beginning of the video here is a short montage of people training with brothels Thanks very much for watching i hope it was useful i hope you learned loads about the red oak broadsword if you like this channel click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from enzo martial arts thanks very much and i'll see you soon cheers